So the lost communications came through. How? The relay on this side cached them. With uh, years of basic data, no real surprises. Miller's side has kept pinging thumbs up, as has Dr. Mann's. Um, Edmonds went down three years ago. Transmitter failure? Maybe. He was sending the thumbs up right until it went dark. But Miller still looks good, though, right? Because she's coming up fast. Mm -hmm. There's one complication. The planet is much closer to Gargantua than we thought. Gargantua. It's what we're calling them, the black hole. Miller's and Dr. Mann's planets both orbit it. And Miller's is, is on the horizon? Oh, the basketball around the hoop. Landing there takes us dangerously close, and a black hole that big has a huge gravitational pull. Look, I, I, I could swing around that neutron star with you, no, sir. No, 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 it's not that. It's time. The gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's drastically. Well, how bad? Well, every hour we spend on that planet will be seven years back on Earth. Well, that's relativity, folks. Well, we can't just drop down there without Cooper. We have a mission. Yeah, though, we have a mission, and our mission, plan A, is to find a planet that can habitate the people that are living on the Earth right now. You can't just think about your family. Now you have to think bigger than that, all right? I am thinking about my family and millions of other families. Okay, plan A does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. No, it doesn't. That's why there's a plan B. Okay, Cooper's right. We need to think about time as a resource, just like oxygen and food going down there's gonna cost us. Hey, look. Dr. Mann's data is promising, right? But it's going to take us months to get there. And Edmonds, it's even further. Now, Miller hasn't said much, but what she has sent is very promising. It's water, it's organics. You don't burn that every day. No, you don't. And just think about the resources, including time that would be spent trying to get back here. I'm late. Yeah. How far off of Miller's planet do we have to be to, to stay out of the time shift? Or just back from the cusp. All right, which is here, just outside of Miller's planet. Right. Okay. Here's Gargantua, here's Miller's planet. Instead of taking the Endurance into orbit around Miller's planet, which would conserve fuel, but we would lose a lot of time, what if we, we take a wider orbit around Gargantua, parallel with Miller's planet, outside of this time shift to here? We take the ranger down, we get Miller, we get her samples, we come back, we analyze, we debrief, we're in, we're out, we lose a little fuel, but we save a lot of time. That'll work. That's good. There's not gonna be time for monkey business or chit chat down there. So Tars, you should definitely stay here. Case, you're with me, anyone else can stay. If we're talking about a couple of years, I could use the time to research gravity. Observations from the wormhole, that's gold to Professor Brad. Tars factor in orbit with Gargantua. Conserve fuel, minimize thrusting, and make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. Got it? I wouldn't leave you behind, Dr. Brand. 